Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glister Elf here. I'm going to be rocking the standard 2020 event. If you don't know what this is, basically you just get to play until you get two wins and that's it. Period. End of story. Uh, well, I say that. You only get to play with the sets that are going to be in New Standard, which right now is Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Corset 2020, and the Throne of Eldraine cards that are out. So let's see. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. So here's the only deck that I have that is good for this standard. And the deck was already pretty close to being just standard anyway. A few lands and Lightning Strike, and that was basically it. This is a deck that I'm going to put a the, look in the description. Hey, you know what? Never mind. Let's uh, let's go and check it out now. Let's go and check it out. But also, deck list will be in the description below. So, and while this is pulling up, shoutouts to Team Etherhub for having me on. Uh, I've actually written an article about land destruction. I'll be writing one about rug land destruction pretty soon. So, the deck is pretty light on removal. It's only running 8 spot removal spells at 2 mana each. This Incubation Druid is supposed to be... It's supposed to be 4 Druids. And uh, Leafkin Druid is there because I don't... <laughs> incubation Druids are rare, after all. I do have the wild card to spend on it. I haven't yet because of the historic... Never mind, I'll get into that in a second. But So we run four Growth Spirals. So basically we run eight le uh, ramp spells. Four Growth Spiral because they actually can do something if they happen to be a top deck. They can at least cycle. Uh, flame Sweep is a one of. So I guess I have nine removal spells, though not spot removal. L Incubation Druid does die to it. That's a bit of a problem. But I'd like to have a 3-5 with a Gilded Load on it if possible, so that's why I'm keeping Sweep at 1, though it's certainly going in the sideboard. Uh, and then God Eternal Kefnet is a 2 of, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this card is silly. So it turns all of your land destruction spells into, well we'll get to you in a second nab, 2 mana destroy land extra effect. Demolish is destroy land or an artifact. Rebel Reading is the best one. It's destroy land scry 2. And Tectonic Rift is destroy land creatures without flying can't block this turn. And we do lose Seismic Shift, I believe it's called, which is two creatures can't block. This one is creatures without flying can't block. So you still could get blocked. And there is a flying deck in the format. Uh, Ral Storm Conduit as another way to copy them, though with no reduction this time. Uh, but you deal damage when you cast them, you get to scry to find them. And Neheb isn't really helping the land destruction aspect of it per se, but in land destruction, one of the weaknesses you can find is that you'll get in a spot where you will have a bunch of air in your hand. You'll have lands, you'll have spot removal while they don't have creatures, and you'll need, usually it's too many lands, and you'll need to get rid of them. And Neheb gives you a way to turn those into actual, into other cards, and even give you mana to cast them, perhaps. Now, other than that, the land base is a bit simpler, and also not ideal. We're running three islands, two mountains, two forests for the four Evolving Wilds, two Temple of Mystery, because that's all I have, uh, four Steam Vents, four Stomping Grounds, four Breeding Pools. So the Shock Lands were good on, thankfully. Thankfully. And that's the deck. And uh, while we're pulling this up, Shout out to TCG Player for being affiliated with me. I'm affiliated with them. So if you check out the doobly-doo, check out the description. You will see a link. If you buy cards using that link, it helps out the channel. It does. Like maybe getting a computer that doesn't <laughs> absolutely drag. I apologize for any lag frames you notice. Uh, and also, shout outs to Inked Gaming. Uh, they're affiliated. I'm affiliated with them as well. they're affiliated with me. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. Uh, but yeah, Inked Gaming. Uh, play mats, bags, sleeves, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Go check them out. And uh, that also helps out the channel. Shoutouts to Fox, Zero Fox Given. Uh, little micro announcement while this one's loading and loading and loading. Oh, timer stopped. Must be coming up pretty soon. Uh, I don't really play Fox too much in Melee anymore. So uh, if you watch the channel for the Melee, uh, Puff and Peach. I've moved away from Fox. I find Peach gives me an outlet for technical play. And, uh, this is a keep. We're gonna keep it. Alright. Oh, start out with the... the tradition, the ceremonial hello. Uh, no one-drops, unfortunately. This is a slow deck. Opt will be going into it in all likelihood. Although it's a little hard to find room for Opt, but now that we know that it's getting a reprint, yeah, it's, it's likely enough. 
All right, so we're going into the ramp plan. We're gonna see if we can get this to live, and since I just saw a guild gate first, it's probably living. Into demolish. Hold on, just a moment, please. All right, sorry, opponent, too. All right, so we play out our third and pass the turn. So that's a bit unfortunate. That means we don't get to do what we'd like. Uh, lava coil, as you can see, is what got me. Ooh, that's a problem, folks. That's a problem. Man, lava coiling... Ah, that hurt. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. <laughs> uh, well then. So, oh, yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. We... <laughs> We did not get there. Yeah, killing the killing the Leaf Kinder would really change this game, because now land destruction is not going to work. It's just not. Now, so suppose that we get another land coming off the top here, and it's not Temple or Evolving Wilds. Uh, God Eternal Kefnet or Ral Storm Conduit. Well, that's that's not it, but we'll say go. Hmm. I think I would actually... Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good. The good news is that since we're land destruction, if we can find another mana source, we can kill the field, and at, at least we can stop that side of the game plan. If. We get, we get a chance here. Oh, jeez. Uh, what's its size? I actually missed that. Six mana? Okay, so it's a 4-4. Four, four. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna say Growth Spiral, because I can't kill it with the Jaius Greeting anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. That's okay. If we're going to see an Evolving Wilds, it's good to see it there. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this now. I'm just crack it now. There's nothing in my deck that needs green green other than the uh, adapt on incubation druid the adapt trigger or ability so just gonna make it red red okay well better late than never I guess um, yeah with that many cards in hand I think I have to demolish here I can't afford to wait I would like to play Ral and then copy, but even if I do, Ral's dead. And then we'll play this tapped. Alright, here goes nothing. It's a 4-4, so God Eternal Kefnet can block it. Shoutouts to being a 4-5. That's, that's cool. That's interesting. Yikes. Well, that's not good. Uh, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Just but a flesh wound. Insert Gate Colossus here. Alright. We can live. We can live. We can live this. Alright, Kefnet, do your thing. Why does it seem like it twitches like that? <laughs> oh, I would have loved to play Stone Rain. Oh, actually, Demolish would have just been pillaged there. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's not great. Um, uh, we'll put him back in, though. We'll absolutely put him back in. Makes me wonder what's coming up. Ah, uh, you, you suck. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Well. If we find a land, Ral copy... No, heck no. Um, well, we have to do this now, don't we? Get Kefnet back on top. Let's see what the other one is. Yeah, we need a creature. Yeah, no. Oh, as much as I... Oh. If I do it this way, though, then Kefnet's going to see an island first. I'm so sorry, folks. 
Alright. So, at my, uh, there's the Gate Colossus. At this point, I'm actually just going to call it, unfortunately. I know what my next two draw steps are. We're not going to make it, unfortunately. Yeah, we're about to take six, go to eight. Uh, next turn is... We won't have anything to deal with the Gate Colossus. So, that's a, that's a drag. That's a drag. Alright, but well that's alright. One loss puts me back. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's going to start me out here every time. That works. Alright. Cho oh, don't make me choose my deck every time. That's inconvenient. Oh well. Oh well. Only have to get two wins in a row, and while that looked like a bit of a blowout, if they didn't have a lava coil or some sort of removal spell, we were probably in great shape, because that, if I can start, if I can start with a turn three land destruction spell against Fieldgate, or whatever that deck is called, we almost can't lose. That is a, that is a really nice place to be, usually. If I felt that I had the time, I could also go Rowl and then copy. Uh, the, the risk to that is, of course, Securitas Root. Alright. So let's see. Let's see what we have. This is fine. It, does, it doesn't have a win con, per se. It has Incubation Druid. Um, we're actually going to start off with a Temple. Ooh. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter too, too much. I'm going to shuffle it back in in just a moment anyway. Healer's Hawk. Okay. Change of plans, perhaps? I don't know if I, want, if I would like to coil that thing just yet. Hmm. Let's ramp. Let's ramp. If we find another land, we can get a turn three demolish, and then another turn three demolish. Oh, okay. Yeah, insert a Johnny's Pride Mate here. We're getting. This is getting scary already. Hmm. Oh, I should have grow. It doesn't matter. I should have grow spiraled though. Well, if I do this here. Let's see. Um, I'd like to save the removal for a Johnny's Pride Mate. I'm gonna fire it off here, actually. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we have, and we're about to fetch up an island for Kefnet. Ooh, okay. All right, this is probably okay. We're probably in, in okay shape. Take it. One of our three handy dandy islands. Hello? Oh. Okay, now let's get started. It's going to be a little bit scripted for a while. As long as we're just taking one, we're okay, but we're not just going to be taking one. Our opponent has something. Hey, Godless Shrine. There's a thing, and that's, that's a reason to be grateful for saving the coil. Alright, well now, change of plans. Not like we have much of a choice. Sorcery speed, so I have to do it now, unfortunately. Um, not really a reason to do that now, I guess, so we'll just pass the turn. Mm. Not that I can think of, anyway. That's a thing. That is a thing. Oh, dear. I mean, it could be worse, but uh, that's not great. Take it, take it, take it. Lifelink weenies. 
Let's go. Alright, see what we got. We got a stomping ground. Tapped. Alright. There's a tech rift. I mean, we have to save that. So, yeah, let's just demolish here. We're stalling at this point. I admit it, we're stalling. And yes, I could have adapted the druid, but there's not really a great reason to right now. This one has death touch, and this one flies anyway. Um, oh, hello, that was quick. That was really quick. Well, dang. Okay. We have a flame sweep. Oh, but it's gonna kill Druid. Huh. Alright. Let's just keep it going. Keep the ball rolling. Alright. Skip. Skip a bit. There's... Orator again. Okay. So, I think what I'm supposed to do here is wait, adapt the druid, and flame sweep. I believe that that's correct. Pride Mate can really mess this up, though. Pride Mate can really mess this up, if I'm not careful. Well, no, no, I can respond to the Pride Mate trigger. Or the, the Life Link trigger, or Life Gain triggers. There we go. You know what I mean. I can respond to Orator. Okay. Um, pass to Blockers. Hello? Hello? Okay. My computer is so slow. Oh dear. That's alright. Alright. As long as it... Yeah. There we go. We'll adapt. See what we get. Any day now. Any day now. I'm sorry, just a second. Alright, so the bad news is, you just missed the end of the game. The good news is, you missed literally one spell. <laughs> I cast a tech rift on their planes, and they didn't have any white sources anymore, and they conceded. So, you didn't miss much. Uh, I had a feeling that my computer was chugging enough that it was going to... OBS wasn't going to catch all the frames, and so I closed other programs out just to make sure, as best I could anyway, that it would, it would be there. So... We've got one win. We have one win. Let's see if we can get there. But you didn't miss much. You, you missed a spell and a concession. So you, you kind of already probably saw that one coming. Uh, I didn't have to do the flame rift. Hopefully this will be the last game because uh, that was my last sip. Well, wait a minute. There's a drop. All right, we got there. We got there. Oh, let the caffeine flow into you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So yeah, game starting versus Iron Gigas. 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 It, it's like the guy from Earthbound. Guy. Ah, uh, that's a high curve hand. We're first. Oh, I probably shouldn't. I am totally going to. So we have to evolving wilds for an we have to play evolving wilds to get an island. We don't actually have to crack it now. If we're in need of lands, we could wait to not deck then to make it more likely we'll find lands going forward. Um We certainly don't have anything that needs the mana right now. And that's not really a threat that requires it either. So I'm actually going to pass so that I'm more likely to... Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, so... 
tiny bit of a risk. Okay. Oh, mono black vampires. Oh man. Oh man, this deck. All right. Well then. Yeah, let's crack that fetch land. Fetch land. All right. So it's not the life gain. I mean, it is life gain, but it's not the Orzhov, a Johnny's Pride Mate life gain deck. Or if it is, they have somehow seriously missed what they're trying to get. So uh, let's play this. I'll probably use Greeting here instead, actually, because it, it does scry, and it turns the clock down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, you're a problem, dude. You are a problem. You are rare. What are you doing, dude? Alright. Should do this after combat. It's not correct to do it now. I know that. Okay, well, there's a problem here. That is not a blue source. That is not a blue source. But we've got, we have rebel reading, so it's better to get it started now. Alright, and plus they missed their land drop. So if this works out, this is going to be a quick... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, kept that into double lava coil. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's go. Let's go. Alright, you're not dead yet, but... Double lava coil. Let's go. Let's go. Disfigure that. I dare you. I dare you. That's a that's a thing. What's this thing? As long as it's your turn, it has lifelink. Uh, no, no blocks. No blocks. Ooh. Good time to have an itch. Reveal. Heck yes. All right. You're both two mana, so definitely you. Doing you first for sure. For darn sure. And we don't have to cast the original here. We can just do this. <laughs> Please concede. Yes! All right! All right. <laughs> Land destruction. The most fun archetype in all of magic. <laughs> okay, I admit, the start of that game was questionable. Keeping a hand with three lands and four four drops is not exactly where you're supposed to be, and I, I recognize that. Part of my reasoning for keeping that, despite having a really good mulligan rule right now, is, oh well, the stakes are I start over, but I was also going first. I had the ability to thin to find to make something a little bit more likely to find. It's also a slower format because we're not playing with all of standard yet, so I thought I could get away with it, and lo and behold, I could. So that was kind of neat. Now, I'm not done with the video yet, but I'm going to take a pause, I'm going to take a break for just a moment, and I will be right back. Partially coffee. Partially because I have somebody downstairs I need to go help out, so just a moment. Alright, so now that that's all taken care of, this felt like moving day, that's all. <laughs> now it helps work on these, so that's all good. Just moving some stuff around. So, 4 out of t 420, nice, uh, for black or green, or 30 for blue or black, okay. So, whenever I come across a black day like this, I don't really have a white deck. I don't really have a black deck. Um, it's just not a color that I focused on, because I have colorless decks, <laughs> which obviously colorless never seems to come up on here. Okay, and uh, I have my, my janky stuff, like land destruction, and it just so happens that those don't include black, so... Uh, I can do all of these lightly if I keep playing land destruction because it doesn't have black but it has green, it doesn't have black but it has blue, and it can kill their creatures, as you saw, uh, but it's going to take me a while, it's going to take me quite a few games. Uh, but that said, one thing that I can do is I can go and re-enter this event. Oh, claim prize, I guess I ought to do that too. Yay, 200 XP! Woo, that was easy, yay, cool. All right. And I can just start it again, and I can concede so that other people get the wins that they need. 
So that might be what I'll end up doing, actually. It helps other people out, and it helps me out because I get to work on all of my... Um, all of my quest, my daily quest. It's been three days. I was hoping I could play with Evangeline, but, you know, she and I played some other games as well. The whole setup over here is for Sonic games at this point. So, she ended up teaching me some new things about Sonic Spinball for the Game Gear that I did not know. Now, granted, I didn't have that game when I was a kid. Uh, we'll keep this. But she still ended up teaching me something new, and I, I think that's pretty cool. So, playing the wilds out first, we have to, but... It thins you so you're not as likely to find lands going forward in a spot when you already when I already don't have a lot of lands. Um, that's a that's an issue potentially. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's get a mountain, a mountain. This art, and that's what I was worried about. I was thinking, there's one spell I can't cast if I do this, but that's okay, because... Now, we, we obviously have to run the druid, but it's probably not going to live. Just, you know. Jaya's Greeting is a card. Lightning Strike is not a card, though. Not in this format. Hey, there's Cavalcade. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's spin it to win it. All right, well, at least we got somewhere. I guess we'll pass the turn. Now, here's an instance where Leafkin Druid actually is better than Incubation Druid. Well, Druid will survive after it... Oh, hello. Oh, well, that's not great. Yeah, Coil can't target ca uh, Planeswalkers. Like Strike can. That's a problem. All right. Well, yeah, um... We can't cast Neheb, we don't have the colors for it. If we cast Ral, he's just going to die. I'm still going to. I'm going to bait it out. Because the way that Cavalcade is worded, to the player or Planeswalker that creature is attacking, so he, he's going to die. So we'll scry. Hello. Uh, well, that lets me cast Neheb. So, I'll keep it. Alright, what you got? What you got? That's... It could be worse. There's nothing in the yard right now. It does have haste, though. It, it means that Ral's dead. Ral's very, very dead. Ral basically turned into a four-mana fog. Oh. Yay! That's... That's how that works, Ral. You win some, you lose some. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well then... Well then... Uh, so, in that case... I am somewhat tempted... Let's see how this is working. Choose target. Oh, Lava Coil doesn't count for the uh, killing creatures. Oh no, it doesn't, because it doesn't technically kill them. Alright, we're not going to play Neheb out, I believe. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Hello? And just tapped. Alright. Oh, you know what? I actually wonder if... So one time, it, the daily quest for me was kill enough creatures, kill 25 or however many it was, and my opponent had Bolus's Citadel out. They sacked 10 permanents, and I can't think of any way that I was supposed to... Ooh, hello. ...to make it other than that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, um, well, we get to have our cake and eat it, too. We get to... It won't count as killing, but we'll get to Lava Coil, the Spitfire, the only creature, yay. And we'll get to play Flame Sweep. Alright. Oh, this is, this is going to be fun. 
This is going to be a lot of fun. Go for it, dude. Do it. Do it. All right. Flame sweep for justice. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. That's five creatures. Well, we're going to be done with that one pretty quickly, at least. All right, Naheb. There is actually a case for not playing the breeding pool here. Gives me something to discard to Naheb. So I, I believe that I will not. I'm sorry. Leyland of Combustion. Target of a spell or ability opponent controls. Deals two damage to that player. Oh, uh, that's not good. Permanent you control in the land destruction deck. Well, okay. That's not. Hello? Hello? I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with Defender. That's why it wouldn't let me. Okay, okay. That's. I thought that it was just the game glitching or something. Alright. We're not in great shape. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's only one Flame Rift in the deck, so I'm going to play the Growth Spiral. Put this on the battlefield. And then. Give him the good game, and concede. You got me. You got me. Yeah, that's a, that's a reason why we might wish to have more Flame Rifts. Or Flame Sweep, Flame Rift. Alright, we go back home. And actually, while I'm here... Yeah, 18 out of 25. It counts. It counts Chandra's uh, Sack Trigger. We're still only at 7 and 7, though. Hmm. Now this is going to take a hot minute. You know, if I have to, after I get the uh, 25 here, I might switch to Merfolk and just play some games there. Because they actually get... <laughs> they have blue and green. So if I'm just trying to speed the speed it up... This is not ideal, but since Lava Coil does not get the job done, it doesn't actually count as killing the creature. It's still, if I were playing competitively, it's still the card I would put in. But, since it doesn't kill the creature... Oh, shoutouts to Shock. Oh, shoutouts to Shock. Huh. Just for now. Just for now. Might speed things up a little bit. Hello? There we go. And there we go. Let's jump right back in. Ha ta 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 ta. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. All right. All right. My invitational card. If it's not Glistener Elf retroactively, my invitational card is Coffee Elemental. For when we start getting drink tokens, I guess. Uh, we'll keep this. Give them the ceremonial hello. Once they, uh, there we are. Hello. Uh, mm, I could keep it up for shock. I'm not going to. I probably should. The odds of the life total mattering that much aren't great. Ah, uh, yep, 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 it mattered. It mattered. Bodied. Well, don't give away your other color, Jay. Ah, uh, it's fine. Bodied. <laughs> I even felt it coming. Oh, well. Let's see if they have anything else to... Create a 1-1 one, one and attach message. Interesting. Right. You have made your token. 
Yeah. Well, in that case, fire it here. That does mean Demolish can actually destroy the artifact. What's the equip cost? Two? Yeah. That's okay. Well, okay. If I hit it with the Jaius Greeting, then uh, I won't get the Scry, unfortunately. Cavalcade, yeah. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Well, I may be okay with not getting the Scry, though. I'm about to get Scry 2, after all. Alright, let's do this correctly, though. Growth Spiral. Uh, we'll play the Mountain. Jaya's Greeting. You're gonna sack it. So I won't get the Scry. Alright. Just the one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, no, it's better just to start destroying stuff now. Oh, that's right. Um, you know what? I think I'm good. Thank you. I think I'm okay. Give them some hope. Still need to not go so far that they concede. If I go too far, they'll concede and that kind of ruins it. So the ideal thing to do here is to uh, play the demolish and just laugh at them. But we're not going to do that. Well, you know what? We can demolish, but we can destroy the artifact instead of the land. Um, that's what I'll do. Not gonna destroy their land. Your go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can see how that might be salt-inducing. Don't concede, though, opponent. You still gotta make it to two wins. Yeah, they, they, I imagine, are wondering why did, why did he not just, why, why didn't he just destroy the land? I'm trying not to be too much of a jerk. All right. I don't know if I'm succeeding, but I'm trying. So they just picked up uh, a shock or something like that. That's good to know. And I can tell because it started giving uh, phases there. Shock. Nice. I'll give him the nice. Light up the... St ah, ha, ha! It actually did have a purpose. Hey, there's a land. Good on you. And a Scorcher. That poor Scorcher. <laughs> it doesn't know what's about to hit it. I'm, a, I'm about to end that whole thing's career. The thing's whole career. Whatever. Alright, play a Ramp Dude out. Ramp Dude. Very technical magic term. Resolve. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a jerk, and I know it. All right, that's enough land. We don't need to play anymore. We have three blue sources, four green sources. That's entirely too many. Ooh. Yeah, I had a feeling that their hand was going to be high curve. Greeting. Tech rift. Uh, uh, do I want to be that guy? I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter, but I think I'm going to say no. I'm going to hunt for more creature destruction or more blue or green spells. And that was superfluous. That was not necessary. Yeah, take one. Block. And it gets shocked. Or not. Never mind. Alright, let's try again. Pfft. 
the, the opponent has to be thinking something to the effect of what kind of a scrub hits the artifact instead of the land? What kind of a scrub does that? Not again! Not again! Alright. Yeah, that's game. That's game. Oh, did they not play the... Huh, they didn't play out the artifacts. I mean, not artifacts, the elementals. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna call it here. Give them the good game. They might have a daily quest for dealing damage. Your go. Okay, now I regret. I regret not conceding, because they gave me the your go. Uh, oh well. To be fair, Joss, playing against land destruction is kind of salt-inducing. It is kind of tilting. I guess I can't blame you. Obviously, if I had not... Oh, let's see. Oh, we got there. We got there. That's right. If I had played it correctly, if I had uh, used the demolish on their other land instead, uh, then we'd be in a different place. But I didn't want to do that, so... Oh well. Oh well. In that case, I guess let's just go to playing some regular games. I see green, I see blue. Let's go. Although, if I'm not mistaken, there's about as many blue and green spells in this deck as there were in the previous one. Four Gross Spiral versus four, four Merfolk Misbinder and one Kumina. I'm not remembering off the top of my head any others. I know that there are other merfolk that are blue and green, but in my deck I don't believe so. I'm not running the proliferate guy, for instance. Flying, plus one, plus one counter, proliferate. Oh, do a stretch while you're playing. Squee, squee, squee. All right, let's see. I was actually checking my keyboard to see if W and Y were close to each other. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is okay. It's a little obnoxious, actually. The Hinterland Harbor doesn't have a land to uh, play itself off of, to come in untapped off of. But we'll give them the ceremonial hello! Oh no, not again. Mono Red. Mono Red. Why? Alright. Whale. I guess we'll play this now. Come in tapped, obviously, so that I can get a turn two trickster. We're slow enough, I might start to go for a turn three ranger if I can't find an actual land. That's a thing. Um, hmm. No, I think it's best to go for trickster. Gee, I wonder what deck I could be playing. I wonder. Okay. Have to pass through quickly so they don't have any time to think I have a trickster. Aha! Alright, this this is going to die. There's a lightning strike or a shock or something. It's going to die. Yep, there's a shock. Okay. What a shocker. Da 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 ha ha ha. I'm so funny. All right, let's see if we can find an actual land here. If not, I'll just play a harbor and go for it again, I guess. Go for trickster shenanigans again. Well, we're a branch walker, actually. That's even better. Let's see if we can find another land. Come on, deck. Come on. What do we have? Oh, shocking it now. Okay. Interesting. Weaver. That's actually, yeah, that's actually fine. I'll keep that. Keep that around. Weaver is okay. I can live with that. Okay. A little late, but better late than never, I guess. Good old Steamkin doing its thing. Alright. Well, hmm, in light of that, we can do... Biomancer Trickster. 
I could do Trickster on upkeep to keep it from getting any counters, but they can just respond with one of their instants. Uh... But then I wouldn't be able to play the Biomancer trick. Let's do this here and now. This may be wrong, especially since I'm so low on lands. Probably should have done the Ranger instead. If they kill the Ranger, though, I still get some... Or if they kill the Weaver, I still get some value. Like, here's the Lightning Strike. Whereas if they kill the Ranger, you know, maybe not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, Chandra, your hair is on fire. Alright, Lava Runner. That's not good. That has haste. Ooh. Yeah, we're in trouble, folks. Can we find another land, please? That's not what I... <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, no! Alright, maybe I actually have to... Oh, no, it's about to come out as a 4-4. Yeah, we're gonna try this. Ranger, please hit both. Please hit both. So it can be a 4-3. Oh, no. Okay, we only get one. Well, you're too slow. Come on, step it up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know, I tried my best not to have any of the tap lands in the deck. I didn't know that I secretly put in so many. No, it's fine. It's supposed to be the case that this is a nice painless way to get both colors. Yeah, well it wouldn't have worked out anyway then. As it turns out. Huh. Well, looks like we're dead, folks. Oh, saving the firebrand. I like that, actually. I like that. Okay. Well. One. Two. There it goes. Did I really? Did I really? Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine, but... It's not ideal. It's not where I had been wanting to be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess we got some value out of it, but it's, it's not great. Finally! Took you long enough, now that we absolutely don't need you. Alright. Well? Well... Yeah, let's see what the top card's going to be. Oh, it's, you burning. it's me burning, that's what it is. Alright, we'll play one more turn just to cast one more spell. But, uh... No, we're not. We're not going to get to play a turn, because we're dead here. Oh, no, what, it's a mountain in their hand. I mean... I don't actually have... I mean, I, I can go to one. It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't actually matter. I know it's a mountain in hand, after all. Boom. Alright. No lava darts in this format. Okay, never mind. We get two we can do. Uno. Y dos. Give him the good game. <laughs> right on time. Right on time, buddy. You got me. You got me. Hey, Mono Red's pretty good. And they're getting that uh, new guy to help him out, too. The four drop that's one red, 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 two, four. Looks like uh, it's a dwarf. And, uh... If, I think it's if a red permanent, or if a red 
source. If a red source would deal damage, it deals that damage plus two instead. That's okay. It's going to be hanging around with Jaya doing the same thing, right? The Jaya Walker, War of the Spark. Alright, so to what I was saying earlier... Okay, much better hand. We can keep this. We can definitely keep this. Curve's a little weird, but we'll make it work. Oh, hey, there we go. We don't have to take the pain just yet. Although, it does mean I don't have a 2-2 two -two on this turn. To what I was saying earlier, I haven't spent my rare wild cards yet, because I'm not sure if they're going to change how they treat Historic. If they're still going to do the 2-for-1 wild cards, I'm going to save the rare ones to buy rares that I'll be able to use later. If that makes any sense. I didn't say that correctly. Alright, here we go. Um... So I, I'm going to get the rares that I can use in Historic before they go from one for one uh, wild card gets you one to two wild cards gets you one. I'm going to buy them up before then. The problem with that, though, is that because of the way that they're treating Historic, where they're going to inject new cards, that means that no matter how big your collection is beforehand, it's possible that you won't be able to have the most viable decks going into the format because, you know, they're going to add new cards to it that might make themselves that might make them better in the meta. Alright, so which one are we doing here? I'm trying to talk and focus at the same time and clearly it's not working. Nah, I'm sorry for that. Alright. Well, we're gonna lose one of our dudes. We're gonna lose Branch Walker. I think I need the tempo though. I don't want to give the ramp deck any more time than I absolutely have to. I was complaining about my lands not treating me well last game. Uh, they did Rootbound Crag into Llanowar Elves on turn 2. And T2 Llanowar Elves is not as good as T1. So yeah, I'm... Oh, well wait a minute. Oh, what's what's 5? What's 5 in this? Because um, they didn't block there. What's a 5 drop I need to worry about in those colors? This isn't that Zakama ramp deck, is it? Alright, so if this keeps up, we'll have Tempest Caller for- Oh, jeez, there we go. That's- that's fine. That's fine, we'll live with that. We still have Lethal next turn if they don't change something really quickly. Cause, you know, Tempest Caller number two, doing its thing. Oh, it could be like a Carnage, well, Carnage Tyrant. Rip Carnage Tyrant. Well, no, they have the mana now. They have Incubation Druid. Oh, boy. Biogenic, oh, okay, good game. Is it okay if I give them a preemptive good game here? Under normal circumstances, this would be game against Murpho. We We can't beat that. But... Tempest Caller is an obnoxious magic card sometimes, and uh, this is 5 mana, as a mythic, this is a 4 mana uncommon. I'll, I'll play it, I'll play the uh, speaker first, just so that I can get that progress towards the, uh, the quest, and then we'll get him. Get him, tiger. Tap him down. Okay. Okay. RBK666. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Oh. Not close enough to hear all the popping going on. That's probably for the better. 17. They, they are staying too equal. That is, that is uncanny. Alright. And to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more XP coming out of the standard 2020 event. Let's see. Well, after this, we might play some drakes because the density of blue spells, I think, is higher in that one. And even if it's not, there's so many draw spells, you can get to them more readily.
Six. Okay, I get it. Z6. Uh, on the draw, this is fine. This is fine anyway. This is fine regardless. Okay. So, the move with more tempo is to play the speaker first. Since we're seeing Planeswalker shenanigans going on, I think it's right to go for more tempo. I could have tried for Biomancer instead. And the reason for that is because I clearly don't have enough lands right now. So it, that might have been the better play. Oh, hello. Look at this again to make sure. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Alright. Let's whack him. Rock him, sock him. Boom. And then... Hit him with the double Biomancer. See how they like that. Uh-oh, this is the Mono Red Walkers... No, okay, this is just weird. This is just a weird deck. Crap. Crap. Uh, folks? Houston, we have a problem. Well, they haven't gotten a cavalcade down yet, so I'm going to risk it. Let's go for it, see what we can find. It's a land! Hallelujah! Um... I'm gonna go for the more tactical merfolk. And then I see another ranger. Um... Let's try to find that fourth land for Tempest if we can. I mean, we can attack with these two, get two points of damage in. It's the thing I guess you have to do here. All right, who's going to die? I see the I see their cursor going back and forth. Who's going to get it? Who's going to take the hit? Chandra's Ember Cat. Red mana, Elemental, or Chandra. Okay. So it's the Mono Chandra Elementals deck. Cool. Uh huh. Oh, Mouse, what are you doing? We aren't at enough damage yet. Gonna play the Weaver, tap you down, hold them back on mana, attack with- oh! Okay, that's uh... Their hand must have just not gotten what they needed because that did not seem like a... Like they were dead yet. They still had some time, the best I could tell. Alright, so Ulamas, no, 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 I haven't gotten both of them yet. Okay, well in that case, let's just keep it rolling. I'm gonna miss this deck. I'm sorry. When this rotates, I'm gonna miss Merfolk. I I strongly suspect that what I'll end up doing for Historic is, in addition to the Karn Mud Stacks deck that I already have, just focusing on Merfolk, 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 Merfolk. I'm trying to get as many of those as I can in. So I'll be getting my other copies of Kumina and Kapala you know, before that time comes. So we start with an island and we hold full control so that it looks like we might be an opt deck. Oh, we give him the hello to further reinforce that. Hold full control again. Santiago, hey, have I played you before? Are you on the Flyers deck? It seems familiar. Alright. I would like to get some beats going. So let's do this. Maybe we'll get a tiny bit of card advantage. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a temple. I can live with that. I have options next turn. If I don't need to trap something, I can play temple. Though I have a feeling I might. 
Yeah, that's a, that's not cool. When this attacks, it makes a 1-1 with uh, tapped in attacking. So it's not a lifelink soldier. Still, that's, that's not ideal. So uh, I believe now is the time for you. Yeah, this looks like Feather. Boros Feather. And then we whack him. And this is the part where Evangeline, because she's four, laughs when I say, whack him. We whack him. War boss. Okay. I mean, it has to attack, so let's just shred it. Blah. Um. Hmm. <sighs> I would like to be able to play Branch Walker and Trickster. Or Adept and Trickster. And we'll do Branch Walker. Library. Uh. Let's see if I can find something a little... Well, I'd rather not get a land, though. So, I can play the Trickster after they declare attacks, turn this into a non-flying creature, and then block it with Trickster. I'm a little worried about letting this even attack, though, because it's going to give Mentor to that token that comes out. And I'd rather keep them down on two power creatures, as you can see why. Um, so it sucks. But I think it might be better to play the trickster on the war boss. Do it early. No, we don't even we don't need to do it there. We can wait. Just in case. You never know. You never know. It also may not matter at all because they might have the Oh, excuse me, protection from whatever. Cantrip? The one drop? And then it just won't matter one bit, because nothing ever matters. <laughs> Sacred Foundry, uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh no! Okay, that's also a good one to put it on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh... We are, that is entirely too many tutus. Well. Okay, resolves. This is gonna hurt, oh, this is going to hurt. Alright, trigger. And trigger. Obviously, I have to mention this one because of the way it's stacked. How do you restack the triggers in this? I honestly don't know. Oh no, no, they don't have to! Oh, you idiot. Oh, you idiot. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well then, because based on power, they could, they didn't have to do the token, they could have done, oh my goodness, oh, you idiot. Oh, it's fine. We all make mistakes. Let's preserve our tempo by using all our mana. Well, at least you don't fly, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's do one of the Legionnaires. And the one that doesn't have its text is the one that we can go after. Because it can't get a plus one plus one counter on it anymore. Alright. Easy ones. And then I can also get rid of the war boss. I'm trading entirely too many resources for this, though. It's it's not a great place to be. All right. Well, let's start off by seeing what we have going on before we play the Silvergill. Okay, that's fun. Is double Tempest Caller is too slow here, though? No, it's not. No, it's not. Actually. Oh my goodness, it, it's not. Reveal the merfolk. Reveal the one you know about. Hello? Okay. Potentially, we can still do this. It's not super likely, but we can. 
Um, so we're, we have four here. It's going to be Tempest Caller next turn to deal eight. So it's actually not necessary. It may make more sense for me to hold back here. But if I hold back, I'm going to lose at least one creature. And that change. But with double Tempest Caller, I can afford to lose one creature. But they have protection effects. Let's just go on the race. Let's just race them. We get a bit of a head start. We don't have to worry about the soldier that's coming down anyway. That's a... never mind, now we do. War boss. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, now we're in trouble. Yeah, when they're tapped out, that's safe. Taking that thing out. Okay. Well. We're not dead yet. We're pretty close, but we're not dead yet. <laughs> if we can make it one more turn. Tempest Caller or Bust. If we can survive one more turn. We have this. We don't even... The creatures that are already tapped, they don't even matter anymore. They have one card left in hand. What are the odds it's a lightning strike? What are the... It's not. It's intervention. Okay. That changes things a little bit. Which one did they kill? I, I missed that. They killed a Tempest Caller. Huh. Well... We'll see how much damage this is. Oh, we can't win now! We can't, well, we could win if we find a mist. No, we can't! We don't have enough mana to cast Mist Caller Caller. Oh, no! Good game. Good game. You got me, opponent. You got me. I cannot win from this point. Oh, that life gain was huge, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Once it doesn't matter anymore. Oh well. Alright, we'll do this. Reveal that we had a caller. Well, I shouldn't say nice on me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright. And then, uh, no attacks. And then we lose. We lose? Question mark? Don't we lose here? Like, you know you have to attack, because I have Tempest Caller in hand. So, they have four here, two in the air, they're about to get another one. Not counting the card in their hand, which hopefully is a land. Okay, what's the opposite of a premature celebration? When you think you're dead, but you're not? Yeah, this is why we don't concede, folks. <laughs> Silver Gale Adept, really good, as it turns out. Nikachu, I'm telling you, Silver Gale Adept is really good. Not again! Stop! <laughs> why did that take so long? Stop that! <laughs> okay, well. Okay, then. Ah. Uh... Okay. Alright, triggers. Yeah, now it's safe for them to do this. Alright. Let's see. Can't think of any soldier synergies. I have to. No, I'm dead anyway, aren't I? I'm dead no matter what. One, two, three, four, five. Good game. Good game. That's, oh, it crashed. No, no, not crash. It didn't crash, it just lagged. Just lagged super hard. All right, well, that was fun.
that was fun. Good times, good times, folks. All right, well, good news. We only have four more to go, which makes me tempted actually to stay on this deck. Yeah, I'll stay on this deck, I'm gonna miss it. I'm still gonna be able to play Drakes come rotation. We won't get to play Merfolk when that time comes, so, yeah, no. Until then, let's just jam all the games we can. Jam all of the games. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss you little fishies. Oh, Satan Ale. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Give him the ceremonial hello. Alright, turn on full control. Make them think we might be running opt. And pass. Yep, a little, little thing that you can do. You can do. If your opponent doesn't know what you're on. Oh. Ooh. Well, once I play the mist binder, there's no reason to hide it anymore. But, uh, but, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. Merfolk, I'm gonna try to sneak in a trickster. See if I can catch them off guard. Pelt Collector's a little weird, though. Enters the battlefield or dies. Probably gonna enter the battlefield on turn two. I would be... Yeah, there, there we go. So, I can try to do... I can try to trick Pelt Collector here so they don't get the trigger. I think that's probably right. That's what I'll do. It'll also hopefully force them to make it get a counter instead of gaining haste with Riot. Which is still alright by us because we're about to play Mistbinder next turn. Yeah, there we go. Well, I say play Mistbinder. Hello. It just froze on me. We don't have to. We could. We should. But we don't have to. We can play Ranger and just hope to get there. That's not been going well for me, though. Hmm. All right. Fly, you fool. Let's go for the tempo play instead. Rhythm, yeah. You sort of expect that, but still. All right. Can't attack all that jazz. Yeah, good times. Hinterland Harbor, because it's costless at this point. Oh, no, it's not costless. Oh, I should have played the Breeding Pool. Because no matter what, I can't cast two spells this turn. Huh. It doesn't seem like a very interaction-heavy deck, but I am tempted to play Kapala first. Let's try this out. Alright, Ranger. Yeah, usually these decks, by necessity, have to run a lot of uh, a lot of creatures, so they can't afford a lot of non-creature interaction, typically. All right, well, we have a 4-3 to match their 3-3, if we have to. We can also just go for one more turn, just take the hit, and then misbinder them. Misbinder, like it's a verb. Use misbinder on them. I know seemingly everybody around here does that. I get onto myself for doing that. It doesn't actually matter, but, you know. Sunder Shaman. Destroys an artifact or an enchantment, I believe? Deals combat damage. Okay. Huh. That's not great. That's not great. So obviously you're pretty cool. No matter what, I'm going to have to let this come in and take two. I can play Biomancer and try to cycle away the Kapala. Or I can play Kapala. And I don't know which is right. I don't think they have... I don't think they have the kind of interaction I'm worried about, but just in case, I'm going to do that. So let's see. We're going to say no attacks, of course. Sunder Shaman has to be blocked, can't be blocked by more than one. So it has to be blocked by one. Exactly one. And that's a, that's kind of a big, oh. 
I chose poorly. <gasps> Wait, I just win. I just win here. They have Kapala, so they can't... I have Kapala, so they can't respond to this. Yes! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, opponent. I'm sorry. That, that can't... That couldn't have felt good. But Tempest Caller is busted. In the context of a slow format like this, Tempest Caller is busted. Let's see what our card is. Spire Mangler. Yeah, okay. But, uh... But we got there. Now we have some packs we can open. And uh, let's see what we have. I'm still in my my kit where I'm going after Shocklands. So if it seems weird why I'm doing this, why, aren't, why am I not going for Throne? Well, this is why. Going after Shocks. Shocks are going to be valuable no matter what I play. And the more Shocks I have, the more decks I'll be able to play. High alert again. Repudiate, replicate. Uh, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it has a merfolk on there for a reason. <laughs> kind of fits the deck a little bit. And then other stuff that I don't care about so much. Alright, what do we have? I will never find a shock land in here, apparently. The only times I've ever found shock lands in packs. Uh, as far as I can remember is when I already had three and I was just looking for the fourth one. To be fair though, I already have play sets of two of the shocks in this set, so I only have three more hits to go. Still, it would be nice. It would be awfully nice. Alright, beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library to reveal a creature card. Until your next turn, its base power becomes twice that power. Base toughness becomes twice that toughness. Twice the toughness. Uh, yeah, that's cool, I guess. I can see a deck where you're running like Amplifier and the biggest stuff you have, uh, but of course you could always just run into another Amplifier. That's not typically cool though. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there we go. Ta-da! Also it doesn't have Trample or any other form of evasion, so... Uh, EDH maybe? I don't know. Everything's good in EDH. Seemingly everything is good in EDH. Alright, that's it for now. Take... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, this costs gems, doesn't it? Momer's Madness costs gems, I believe. Oh, or 250 coins. Later. We'll do that later. Uh, but for right now... Nah, I think, we're, I think we're fine. We'll save that for another video. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>